Right, so quick video of a trap. Now, it's a silverware deadfall trigger. That's not my idea. The way I found it was I've been looking online, well, I always look online for kind of new trap triggers or a trigger I can change or something. And I've seen this one on there several times. And it's a silverware um, deadfall trigger. So using a knife, a fork and a spoon. Now, so far as I know, it was made by a bloke called Ken Youngquist. And it was on a website called primitiveways.com. Like I said, I've seen it several times. And I thought, actually, I want my trying it. So what I'll do in a minute, I'll move the camera around. But what you've got is a spoon at the bottom, a fork as the upright, and a knife there, and a bit of bait in between. So hopefully when the bait is taken, it will dislodge this knife, and it should set the rest apart. I'll move the camera around so you can see it a bit better. So you can see how it's set up there. So spoon at the bottom. The bait in there, the knife and the fork, and you see how it goes through, it goes through there, through one of the like the tines of the fork. It's quite hard to set. So, well, imagine our animal comes along. He tries to pull this bait, and we'll see what happens. See if I can get it so I'm not, you know, dislodging anything else. So he tries to pull this bait out. Yeah, so it would come down and get him. Not something I probably want to rely on, but it's something of interest, it's something different. So just the normal knife, fork and spoon. Now setting it isn't that easy. Now when I see the picture of the original one, I can't remember whether it was set this part was set exactly like this or not, or whether the deadfall was sitting on the end or on the point of the fork. I'll have a look later. But this this way works right as well though. His one may have been resting on the very top, the very tines of the fork. That would work, that's pretty good. So if you happen to end up with just a knife, a fork and a spoon, you could definitely set up a deadfall trap. Now I may have a go later seeing if I can actually set up a similar trigger but made out of wood. So that's actually pretty good. Surprising. So like I said, not my idea, but something I wanted to try for quite a long time, but never got round to it. Right. Cheers for watching. Oh, and later on... Um, I'll see if I can do some more videos about the slingshot triggers. Um, one thing I would say is the trigger and the setup for the completely homemade one. I'm going to do a new one because I've tried it. And it's very hard to aim with it because everything is in the way of each other. Your thumb is in the lot. Is in your 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 sight of lot. Your your sight picture if you know what I mean everything's in the way so I'm going to see if I can lower it down so your thumb and everything is out of the way and you're just looking down the pouch and the forks whereas this the setup I showed you on the last video everything is higher so everything is in the way if you know what I mean so I'm going to try and make a new one and then I'll do some target practice with that I did do some target practice with the other one but it doesn't seem to um 
very hard to aim anyway and that's uh, that's just the last thing i want so i will do some videos of that maybe in the christmas holiday which is going to be a couple of weeks right cheers for watching and i'll see you later